I'd like to make a quick introduction. Uh, you know, it's, it, Bill Chin has such a fantastic resume in service to our country. And as I give some of his, uh, his tremendous accomplishments, I just want to again thank Bill for all the work he's done on this project. Uh, Bill is the one that has, as said before, has held us most accountable for making this bill pass. And I really uh, admire all of his tenacity in, in making us accountable for this. General William S. Chin, retired, U.S. Army retired, is a career officer with, with more than 30 years of service to the country in the military. He is actually coming from a family of veterans. His father, Moon Chin, is a United States World War II veteran as well. And he has also the distinguished uh, characteristic of being a descendant of a Chinese railroad worker. So Bill's got double honors in his favor as far as contributions of a Chinese American family to this country. His own family actually is part of a long history of contributions in the military. He has a brother, Bob, who is also in the, uh, in the US Army, as well as another brother, Moon Chin, who's a cancer researcher. However, it's Moon's daughter, Deborah, who's actually a uh, Black Hawk helicopter pilot. So you can imagine all the history that they have in their family. Bill served in the US military, as uh, US Army as a missile defense systems uh, lead. And I think without his leadership in that area, our country would not be as safe as it is today. Bill's more than 30 years of service, as I said, is involved with large, high-scale leadership capacity elements. So the last thing I'll say about Bill, and this is, thing, this is the thing that should make us all proud as Chinese Americans, is that William S. Chen is the first Chinese American two-star general. Bill, thank you for your comments and look forward to them. Thanks, Ed, just a correction. Oh. First Chinese American two-star general in the U.S. Army, because there were admirals and an Air Force general major general that, of course, preceded me. What I'd like to do is highlight the significance of the service and sacrifices of our World War II veterans. Now, I'm not a historian, but what I would say is that the first major contribution of Chinese in America was building the Transcontinental Railroad. The second major contribution was the service and sacrifices of our Chinese American World War II veterans. Now, I like to use the term story arc, and there's a lot in common between Chinese railroad workers and our Chinese American World War II veterans. Number one, the recognition of their service and honor has been slow in coming. And number two, both groups, Chinese railroad workers and Chinese American World War II veterans were largely forgotten, ignored, and excluded. For Chinese railroad workers, it wasn't until the 100th, 150th anniversary of building the Transcontinental Railroad that they were finally fully recognized and honored. And so we can say that the story arc for Chinese railroad workers was finally completed at the 150th anniversary on May 10, 2019 at Promontory, Utah. Now for Chinese American World War II veterans, again, the progress in recognition has been slow. And finally, on December 20th, 2018, when the Chinese American World War II Veterans Congressional Gold Medal Act was enacted, we have that recognition and honoring. And with the formal presentation in December of 2020, we now have that full recognition. And we can say that the story arc of Chinese American World War II Veterans has been completed. I wrote an article about two years ago with that title, the Chinese American uh, World War II Veterans Story Arc. And so uh, in back of me is a virtual background of a book that is based upon that story arc 
and expands upon the story of Chinese American World War II veterans.